all right so what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel man it's your boy and uh i know what you guys are gonna ask me hey yo beast have you seen the leaks have you seen the leaks have you seen the leaks and my answer to that question is the same thing i've been telling the folks over on discord man is yes i seen the leaks okay i seen them about a week ago well some of them anyways about a week ago and then we got access to a couple more of them a couple days ago right by we i mean everyone in the community that's looking around and seeing what's going on right so am i going to talk about them no am i going to make a video about them? no the reason for that is very simple last time there was a leak for an update or stuff that will be coming in the future for marvel future fight the marvel future fight development team or the star agent manager reached out to all of the youtube content creators and basically just asked us when there are major leaks for future updates if it's possible could you please not cover it why because these things are not final things could change and then if we publicize said things and those things don't come to fruition then the player base becomes upset and it essentially just ruins a future update that's essentially what they said to me in an email i'm assuming they sent everyone the exact same email and because of that i haven't been covering any leaks and i will not be covering any leaks everyone else are free to do whatever they want that's just my standpoint on it, okay? So I'm not gonna be talking about the leaks. I'm not gonna be making videos about the leaks. I'm sure other people will do that and that's completely fine. That's their prerogative. So that being said, we're gonna be taking a look at the base kit for Yelena, right? I know you guys are very excited for her because again, leaks, right? But I'm going to rock out with the base kit today in case you guys were wondering how I got the character because if you notice, I do not have a monthly bio selector active. I actually picked her up from the legendary battle for 2,500 crystals, okay? I got her from the legendary battle, not the extreme. I believe you got it from normal, right? And then I used a 6-star mega rank up ticket on the character and then I used a mega tier 2 ticket on her because I just have so many of them in my inventory. This is not a flex. I am running out of um, mega rank up tickets though. I'm down to one. Speaking of mega rank up ticket, I made my one purchase for this update so far. And I actually purchased the future pass because there's a mega rank up ticket here. And it's a good deal because I get all these other things as well. I'm not going to be purchasing the mythic pass just because i don't like the idea of saying you have to buy this one to get this right i don't like it if they gave me a choice to just skip this and go to this i probably would have still only bought this but just knowing that there's you know what i'm saying no choice and i have to buy this to get this it's a no for me anyways moving on we're going to be testing out the base kit for this lovely lady oops um where is she um right down here uh yeah we're gonna be testing out the base kit for this lovely lady right here i have invested a little bit into her because i really like how she plays with the uniform but since she's a premium character what kind of content creator would i be if i just like bought the character bought the uniform and then never tested the base kit not everyone is going to be in a situation where they can just you know shell out money for the character and then shell out money for crystals to buy a uniform for the character you know what i'm saying so yeah, I want to test the base kit, see how much I can get out of it. And then we'll go on to the uniform because I actually really like how it looks. I prefer how she looks like this. But anyways, moving on. We're going to go into some Shadowland, pretty high stage here. I would think for a level 60 character, right? So we're going to test her out right here. You guys may think this floor three is not really that impressive, but I think it's okay because we have Vision in here and Vision is extremely annoying because he can guard break you and he's just constantly iframing. Iron Man is also really bad and these modifiers are pretty annoying as well. So that being said, let's pick her up. Let's put her to the test. Let's see if she shines because um, Mr. Red Guardian definitely flexed. So what we're gonna do here is open with the five, but we're gonna wait until they come close nice job. oh come on see that's the problem with her <laughs> there's no tracking on her fifth 
So when it comes to Shadowland and them always running away, when you go into an iframe, it's kind of annoying. So we gotta keep them right there. We go come come together. I love it when the plan comes together. Hey Vision, hey buddy. What? You got through the guard? Okay. You know what? Let me just flex some. Woo! <laughs> okay. I wanted to flex. And that's what happens when flexing goes wrong. That's nice though. You if you chain the four with the one skill, it just it looks really cool because then they're just completely shut down. Yes, her damage is actually good for Shadowland. We're gonna test it in World Boss in a second though, but that one skill looks really, really cool. I probably shouldn't have cleared that. Alright. Yeah, because I don't like doing solos because that means I have to push even further into Shadowland. And, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's a headache that I don't want to deal with. But let's let's take her into um World Boss here and test her out. We'll go against... I want to try her against Cable. I had a lot of fun playing against um Quicksilver in yesterday's video. So I want to actually start targeting these bosses over on this side just for funsies because why not? And since she is a speed type, we'll go up against Cable here. I guess 29 is all we have. Because uh, my man here, Nate Dog, he's a vivid iframer. Like, he loves, loves the iframe. Like, where is he now? Can't even fight him. He's over there. Like, like literally busting shots, bro. Literally, not figuratively. Like, dropping nukes, dropping bombs, iframing constantly. Lighting the map on fire. Now I got eyeballs and I got freaking things trying to eat me. He's super fast. Oh my gosh. Thank you for the damage. Stay in place. Stop eye framing. What's wrong with you? You have no home training. Okay. Oh gosh. Really? Really? They're trying to eat me while the fire's on the ground, bro? Oh my gosh. Okay, cable. Stop. What? Bro, I didn't even get a chance to break his shield. That's treat. That's cheating. Great, he's immune to everything. Oh my gosh, bro, how am I supposed to break that shield? Bro, I feel like this is just not a good place. What? Those wasp things? They just ignore iframe too. Those. Okay, can I get out of the corner? Bro, this is not a good place to test her. She can't handle this, bro. He too big for her, bro. She can't handle it. I'm sorry. Yo, listen. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Yo, I'm convinced. All of these mutant bosses, way harder than the regular bosses. Yo, look at this. Look at this stuff, bro. Like, you, the man's barely giving me an opportunity to bust shots, bro. He literally like, listen, I'm the one that bust shots, bro. I'm Nate Dog. Okay, you, you just take the shots. And if you survive, be grateful. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> I swear, I can't even see. Who turned off the lights? <laughs> oh my gosh. Yo. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. And, and he's hiding over there, meditating again. Okay. This is not a good place to test her damage because she's not getting any opportunity to bust no type of shot, bro. Nate Dog is the one that calls all the shots and busts all the shots. Okay. Facts. Like, he's just immune to everything now. Like, he's just immune to everything, bro. He's immune to life, bro. You know how they say life finds a way to always, like, screw you? Nah, bro. Not Nate Dog. Bro. Not when your name is Nate Dog, bro. Oh, my God. This guy paralyzed me. Okay. We go to... We go... <laughs> we go... <laughs> we go against Proxima, man. We going over against another boss that actually wants to... Oh, gosh. Wants to cooperate, I was going to say. But, like... I don't know, man. Like, this this is actually fun, but it's kind of annoying. I'm not going to lie. Like, every time I use one of her skills, he iframes. And then when he's not iframing, he's immune to everything. Like, you know what I'm saying? This is annoying. All right, so let me let me put her in against Proxima and see what the damage looks like. All right, so that was a 29 cable, and that was with a type advantage. Man, I feel like she definitely can clear the stage. If she gets the chance to attack. Alright. But, <laughs> yeah. I don't want to keep you guys all day just watching me get iframe. So we're going to try against Proxima. 
Because Zim Zima, you got the keys to my Bima. Anyways, let me stop. Proxima. Listen, chill out. Ooh, okay, please, 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 man. Please. Ooh, that was close. I lost all the damage, bro. She, she's just just outside of the range. That's that's just annoying. <laughs> that's just annoying. Okay. Ouch. Okay. We're busting shots. We have a shot. Okay. Can I? Can I? It really sucks that. Because they just they're just outside of the range of her fifth skill, you can't trigger her fourth skill, and then now I triggered it, and then she ran away. Sad times, boys. Sad times. It's nice that you get the um, the fifth as the team up. It just sucks that it has no tracking on it. Part of me like, you know what I'm saying? I feel like they did that on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> Just so you buy the uniform, but then even with the uniform, he doesn't have track. It. So I'm like, uh -huh. Nani? <laughs> okay, come on. Okay. Okay, so we have a fighting chance in this. We we still we still have a dog in this fight. Telling you, if, if a lot of her damage wasn't being dodged, whoo, she would be so much better. Okay, whoo, that was close. Oh no no no! What did I say, bro? See, like right there, they'll come <laughs> the entirety of the fifth kill. Just god, godzo, donezo, nothing, nada, just wasted. Future fight team, this is 2020, man. When you're designing skills, you you. You can't just be designing them like, oh, it looks cool, but like, come on, man, like, give us some type of consistency in terms of, like, tracking. I guess some would say that that means you have to, like, oh, gosh, she's dead. Ouch. Ouch. Okay, ouch. That hurt my feelings. Let's, let's rock out a little bit more, man. I'm kind of salty. Anyways, as I was saying, Future Fight Team, what are you guys doing, man? Like, really? No tracking on her fifth? Like, look at this. This is, <laughs> this is an absolute joke. I know there's supposed to be, like, some skill to using every character, right? So maybe that's their line of thinking. Like, you're supposed to position yourself properly so you actually get some damage. All right? But, man, come on. It don't make sense. And if it don't make sense, how can it make dollars? All right? And you guys want people to shell out dollars on her, right? Come on. But I guess you want dollars and them crystals too for the uniform, right? Okay. What are you gonna do? Let's do that. And then let's jump behind you. See, I finessed you this time. I'm gonna have you play my game. Playing my games, I can play my games too. Come over here. And then I'm gonna jump behind you. And then while you jump back, see you jump right into my missiles. I got you. I know how to play this game. Sometimes. <laughs> okay, let's go. See? You see, guys? You see what I did there? I use my smarticles. That's what I call them. They're particles in my brain. <laughs> They're in there somewhere. <laughs> Just gotta find them. Oh gosh. Oh lord. <laughs> <laughs> why, why am I an idiot? I don't know, man. Woo! Oh my goodness, I was trying to finesse through that. This is a really slim. Okay. Ouch! Ouch! Really, twice, bro. She was going for the kill, bro. She was literally going for the kill. She's like, "Oh, I got you. You're talking all that smack. I'm about to lay a smack down on you." Okay, anti venom, I need you. I need you, my G. I need you, my G. I need you. <sighs> Proxima. Every time I get a rhythm going, she don't want me to win. So we gotta win some more. <laughs> okay. 
No, but for real though, she's actually really, really annoying. I think. Ooh. I think. I think she heard me. And now she's gonna like make me pay for saying the bad things about her. Okay, we're gonna go five here. Jump behind you. Push you back. See? I got the small articles in my brain. Oh, <laughs> oh Lord. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Oh, really? Really? He was so annoying. Okay, I'm gonna do that. And I'm gonna take advantage of nothing because I got no damage. Wonderful. Again, no damage. What is going on? Okay, we're gonna go five here, then jump behind you. And then she jumped up to the top. At least we got a little bit of damage that time. Okay, we're gonna go there, jump behind you and force you back down the other side, but you didn't even do that. You, instead, you jumped off the map entirely. I, I love Proxima Midnight. I just wanna say that. I just love her so much. She's just my favorite boss to fight. Of all the bosses, I just love Proxima so much. I just wanna say thank you not only to Proxima, but also to Proxima for being the best of the best. I just want to say Proxima, I love you very much. And um, I just, I just, I just enjoy everything that there is about you. And I also love when you uh, make it rain lightning like 55 times. So I just cannot do any damage because who needs to do damage? Who needs to clear the stage? Right? Right? I just want to spend all my time here just, um, just hanging out with you, you know? Because I just love you so much. You think Corvus loves you? Oh, he don't love you like I love you. Best believe that. I'm going to put all this love into you. Oh my gosh. You, 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 whew, whew. you don't even know. Oh boy. Okay. I think she caught on to me, guys. She caught on to my... Uh, my ulterior motive. So 20 seconds left. Um... Yeah, we got it though. Um, she's not the safest character to play. I'll tell you that. She has the potential to do good things. Maybe even great things without the uniform. So the uniform isn't something you absolutely have to buy. But um, it definitely takes a little bit of practice and a good bit of care to actually use her effectively. In World Boss, if you're a scrub like me, if you're a professional, then uh, this is nothing for you, man. You're going to pick her up. You're going to hit the ground running. But this is the build on her. It's nothing crazy, right? I still have a lot more work to do. And I will be investing a little bit more into the character. Especially since she has a lot of potential with this uniform. Because she has iframe ignore on her one skill. Which is crazy. Because that's five and a half seconds you can use that. And abuse that in PvP. So I definitely will be trying her out a little bit more. But I want to give you guys gameplay always without uniform first. So you have an idea of what the base character can do. Because once they get a uniform, you basically never see them like in the base form ever again. Anyways, I'm going to wrap up here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave your thoughts in the comments. Till next time, stay safe. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.